the final game of round one of NRLW. So far, we've had wins to the Dragons and the Roosters. Which of these two teams will be joining them as round one victors? A lot has been made about those that have gone from the Broncos to the Knights. Well, the Broncos have got a couple of new recruits of their own as Ali Brigginshaw about to bring the Broncos out onto McDonald Jones Stadium. One of those I'm looking forward to seeing, Ruan Sims, is the ex-Dragon, Jamie Chapman, who's lining up a fullback tonight for the Broncos. Yeah, good evening, Salty. I think Jamie's a really good pickup for the Broncos. She lives up uh, on the Gold Coast uh, with her dad, so it made a lot of sense for her to go across there. And she's getting her first opportunity, first bite of the cherry, starting fullback for the Broncos outfit. I will say, though, the Knights have recruited superbly this off-season. They've got an extremely strong... Uh, squad assembled and that one that just walked past in that white headgear similar to her sister in Hannah Southwell Jessie Southwell keep an eye on her Joey says she's the most talented young footballer he's ever coached yeah big wraps and that's great to see too the Knights NRL team lining up to welcome the Knights NRLW team and what a moment it is the youngest play in NRLW history you just saw there Jesse Southwell and there's Millie Boyle will be pumped for a big game and Tamika Upton from Rockhampton to the Broncos and now a Knights Keep, a, keep an eye on the edge back rollers for the Knights as well, both more so known as outside backs in Yasmin Clydesdale and uh, Captain Romy Teitzel for the Knights. So that'll bring plenty of league speed out wide for the, for, uh, for the Knights. Romy Teitzel still the captain of the Knights this year, talented player from North Queensland. And we are underway. Young Jesse Southwell kicks off. And Taryn Aiken misread that one. Went over the top of her head. We are underway. A first touch there for Sophie Holliman. On debut tonight is Chelsea Lenarduzzi, one of the experienced forwards these days. Millie Boyle, one of the defenders. Amber Hall. Another experienced player. Talking of veterans, Talisha Harden. So all of the established players getting a touch here for the Brisbane Broncos. And late in the tackle count, Talisha Harden earns herself a penalty. Caitlin Johnson, the player, penalised here. That one always hurts, that penalty late in the tackle count. Discipline is going to be really important here for the Knights because the Broncos, if you gift them really good field position, once Aiken and Brigginshaw get their hands on the ball, they can create something from long range. They can create something nice and tight too. So it's going to be in imperative that the Knights tighten that up. And there's an error here, Amber Hall. She's claiming that it was stripped, but we'll uh, see what comes Hannah? of this if a challenge is made. I don't think there's any challenge coming here, Russo, early in the game. Just a mistake here from Amber Hall. Let's have a look. She might have had a case for it if, if she had. There were a few hands on the ball. Kira Dib seemed very happy when <laughs> the call of knock-on came. The scrum feed here for the Newcastle Knights. Southwell throws a dummy. Tackled there by Aiken and Harden. Boyle. Rowan is an ex front row. One of the things that Brisbane will have to learn to cope without Millie Boyle now is that, that first hit up, that tough run she always takes. And we're seeing the benefit there of the Knights through Hannah Southwell making yardage on the back of a Millie Boyle run. Brisbane don't have that now. Yeah, exactly. And Caitlin Johnson follows it up with another good run as well. And that's exactly what Millie does. She punches through that line, bends it, and creates that quick play to ball. Tamika Upton gets an offload away. Higgins, he gets a pass away as well. And the Knights with some very good field position here on the last. Chance for an attacking kick from Southwell. Puts it high. Did really well under pressure there. Got a good kick away. It's allowed to bounce. It's play on here for the Knights. And Bobby Law flicks it out the back when it goes into touch. It'll be a handover. Oh, that was so unfortunate. It was a beautiful kick by Jesse Southwell. As you spoke about, heaps of pressure coming through. 
And I thought if that ball had gone a little earlier from Bobby Law, Kiana Takarangi was uh, pretty much untouched to the corner post. Enjoying all the action sideline for us tonight. It's good evening to Alana Ferguson. Alana. Enjoying it is an understatement, Salty. It's so incredible down here. Even just watching the women run out, the Newcastle Knights getting to run out and play under these lights. All of their faces were completely lit up with huge smiles. They look nothing but excited. The crowd has stuck around and it's such a great atmosphere. The conditions are great for footy as well. 16 degrees, it is dropping. A slight breeze at the, at the back of the Newcastle Knights, but we're in for a ripper night of footy. And we've seen some of that already. Jesse Southwell with that footy on her boot expect more from her she's unbelievable in that number seven jersey for the newcastle knights oh looks so composed you wouldn't think it's a 17 year old on debut here's chelsea linaduzzi standing in the tackle nita maynard gets a pass away and that's sophie hollyman alicia harden driven back in the tackle Romy tights are one of the defenders there A kick from Aiken under pressure there from Caitlin Johnson. Got some sort of a kick away and you're in front of the penalty here. Say she's offside, unfortunately, here for the Broncos. Huge pressure, inside pressure from Caitlin Johnston. It's exactly what you want from your markers, your A defenders. They need to get up in the face of these ball of these kickers. And you know, they've done their homework. They know that Aiken takes a little bit of time to set up for the kick, and it was really good line speed there by Johnston. Certainly was. She did really well. Here's Romy Teitzel. Good defense on her. Now Higgins. Millie Boyle. Good opportunity here for the Knights. Higgins goes to Hannah Southwell looking to wind up. Good tackle down low from Maynard. Linaduzzi in there as well with Amber Hall. Now, looking to barge over is Millie Boyle, but she's stopped only half a metre away. Two tackles left in the set here for the Knights. Southwell puts on a step. There she goes, the teenager. The next generation has arrived, and her name is Jessie Southwell. Oh, what a beautiful play there. Looking on the high shot, you could see them spread out beautifully to that right-hand side. And Jessie Southwell just utilising the numbers perfectly. Good line speed here on the Harvey Norman replay. Sees that they shoot up. There's some space on the inside because Hollyman doesn't backfill that space there. A nice, strong right foot step. Finds her way to the try line. First try for the Knights. First try for Jessie Southwell. And, you know, Joey spoke about this young woman was going to set this competition alight. And hasn't she started with a frenzy, Alana? Oh, hasn't she ever? A big, a big difference in, in these two teams already is that fifth tackle option. We saw Jessie Southwell do her kick first and put the Broncos under pressure. This one from Taryn Aiken took a long time to wind up. Caitlin Johnston was able to put that pressure on. The Knights then get the footy and they're able to attack off the back of it. So not only does she have that natural ball drop, but turns it into points. Unbelievable. To the Newcastle Knights and that kickoff. Well, it's been knocked on now to be a penalty. Here in front of her. So Brisbane can go on the front foot here. The player picking it up in an offside position. And Brisbane take the tap. And it's Sarah Sautia. Tackled 14 metres away. Maynard to Hollyman. Good run from her. Centre of the ground. Good attacking platform here for the Broncos. Maynard. 
Now Brigginshaw goes short to Amber Hall. She certainly does have an offload in her, but not that time. Finds that one of the defenders there for the Knights. Here goes Brisbane through Maynard. Aiken, look out from there. Tarrant Aiken, both Southwells and Tightsell in there to wrap her up a metre away from the line. Maynard thought about setting up Chelsea Lenarduzzi, went on her own. Oh, there's a penalty here taken without the ball. Talisha Harden was run off the ball there. This is going to be a penalty she to the Bronx. Contact with Talisha. Yeah. And she didn't, oh, she didn't have the ball. Yeah. It'd be in line with me, Nita. I thought on that uh, couple of tackles previously that Ali might have looked for that Harbour Bridge pass over the edge because uh, Takarangi had come right in. She was up in defending on Amber Hall and they had two players on the overlap. But here they go off to the left. Hollyman's been busy to start this game. Certainly has. Sophie Hollyman on debut. Tell me more about her background in just a moment. Maynard. Brigginshaw on the bounce. Jamie Chapman. Has to succumb to the tackle. So it would have been an obstruction there if she took advantage of a hole. Had it opened up. Brigginshaw, dummy to Hall, goes to Turner, and Amy Turner. Julia Robinson, now Maynard, Brigginshaw, and a doozy. Thought about the offload, flicking it out the back, hung on to it. Brigginshaw puts on a step, they put it down here, Brisbane, and Bobby Law has it for the Knights. Well, you spoke earlier about uh, the Broncos missing Millie Boyle's uh, punch through the middle there as there's a penalty here That's too slow. to the Knights. Too slow getting off the play. The ball dibble go for some metres down the sideline, try and bite off some, some field position here for the Knights. But missing Millie Boyle through the middle there means that Lena Doozy, sometimes she's getting the ball flat-footed and normally she's getting it on the push off a quick play the ball and that offload really comes into play for her then. Now, Ru, we were talking about Sophie Holliman and her background. She's on debut tonight. Comes from Tasmania on a Wagyu beef farm. That sounds be a good so person good. to get to know. Oh, absolutely. And she's been really busy early on. We've got defending to do here because Tamika Upton has it. Now Higgins. Really good out of dummy half in the early part of this game. 22 away here, Newcastle. Kira Dib, long pass, Takarangi. Can't handle it, went behind her. Ali, where do you want to play the ball? And Brisbane will have to play the ball here because of the ball going into touch. Well, that was on for the Knights. It was beautifully read there by Dib. That over-the-top pass was definitely on because the winging, the winger defending was actually on the inside shoulder of Bobby Law, the Knights' centre. So, unfortunate one there for the Knights. Jamie Chapman. Oh, there's a juggle. Now, did it hit a Knight? Oh, they're saying it's play on here for Emily Bass. Didn't hit Millie Boyle. Holliman got away from Boyle. So it is 35 minute halves in NRLW this year. We do have Golden Point. Lena Doozy, beautiful pass to Lisa Harden. On the charge, will be stopped 10 metres away from the line. Maynard wanting a quick play the ball, gets it. Brigginshaw puts in a kick, taken by Turner. It's the last, gets it away. Amber Hall will be hard to stop from there, but they do. Well done, the Knights. It's a turnover. Oh, geez, that diffused that well, the Knights. Brigginshaw summed it up. She put in a little chip kick to Amber Hall, and she did have a winger outside of her, just couldn't get the arms free. But the Knights now got a plenty of work ahead of them because the Broncos, they look like they're lining up, just trying to tra trap them down in their own 20. This has been a fast start to this game. Newcastle dominating early. Brisbane having a few chances of late. Autumn Rain Stevens Daly playing it. There's Hannah Southwell. Rivia Higgins. Millie Boyle. Jesse Southwell. Kicking from inside the 30. Jamie Chapman better get on a bike to get to that one, and she does. 
It's a good kick return, but a good tackle there from Clydesdale and Boyle. Well, you have to have a really good defensive line coming up against Jamie Chapman. She loves a broken line there, and there's a penalty here, not Can't square by Clydesdale. Play for your offside players. This is a gift out of trouble here for the Bronx. Too smart, Ellie Brigginshaw. <laughs> Saw it straight away, initiated the contact, then looked straight away at referee Casey Badger. That's why she's one of the best. Smart footy head. Got the result which she desired. Ember Hall on the charge, just about reaching the halfway line. Stands in the tackle, swatting him away like flies. Amy Turner, look out if she gets in an open space. You haven't seen a lot of NRLW, one of the real great athletes in the competition, as is the Broncos fullback in Jamie Chapman, the ex Dragon. Lenarduzzi. Brigginshaw gets a pass away, and it's well read by the Knights' defence on Saudia. We'll get up and play it with two tackles left in this set here for Brisbane. Maynard short to Linaduzzi. Shape the flick again there, Chelsea Linaduzzi. She's intended to bring it out. Just no one pushing around for her to get that ball to. Brigginshaw on the last, fires a pass to Julia Robinson. Can oh, she, she get there? Yes, down. she does. Down to the end. And there's no more deserving yeah. try scorer in NRLW after the weeks he's had. Well done, Julia Robinson. What an incredible finish. She's such a strong, powerful runner of the ball. But again, Brigginshaw just sums up that situation beautifully. We're going to get a much closer look at this on the Harvey Norman replay. She scoots down this right edge, sees exactly what's going on. The pass cuts out both defenders. Robinson still had plenty of work to do, but she just finds the line with frightening regularity. She's such a strong player, and it's a lovely pass by Brigginshaw for the try assist. Oh, after such an emotional week for the Broncos winger, she gets over in the corner and opens Brisbane's account for the season. Julia Robinson won three grand finals with the Broncos. Try has been confirmed. You know, I spoke about how through the middle, those offloads haven't really been generating the, generating the second phase play we would normally have seen with the Bronx, but Ali's about to try and make another. Brigginshaw, off oh, the crossbar, no Come goal. Julia Robinson with the try, and she was very emotional after scoring the try. And if you haven't caught up with the story from during the week, it was the, the victim of some online trolls. There's a mistake from Brisbane, but uh, well done to her. She's one of the more popular players there in the team, and yeah, it was well-deserved try after the week she's had, Root. Yeah, it certainly was. It's one of the, the more unfortunate side effects, and quite to be quite honest, vile things that's been happening in the game lately. The similar thing is happening. Jackson Paulo went through it this week as well. So, you know, I think it's uh, it's brave of her to come out and, and call out those trolls and her to come out and just focus on her footy. The four points there, that'll really settle her down, get her excited. But the Knights here forcing the error from Hollyman, who's been strong for the Bronx to start this game. Midfield scrum, I can't wait to see what they, what they can produce, the Knights. Kira Dib. 15 metres away, she's wrapped up, stands in the tackle. And they drive her back a couple of metres. Olivia Higgins, the dummy half. Here's Millie Boyle looking to wind up. Tackle 10 metres away. Chelsea Lenarduzzi trying to put a one-on-one -on -one steal there on Millie Boyle. Higgins, Hannah Southwell lost her footing. That's awkward. Oh, that looked painful as she went down. The time off. That's, she's grabbing that right knee. There was an immediate concern shown there for Hannah Southwell. 
She's in the hands of the trainer. Obviously, I mean, we can, we'll ask Alana when we go down there next. There's obviously a fair bit of dew on the surface because it does look a little slippery underfoot there. And, uh, you know, Hannah has just cl immediately clutched that, le that knee, Alana. Yeah, it doesn't look good, does it? And that's not a player that the Knights want to say goodbye to either. Um, I just wanted to comment on the Knights and how impressive their defence has been from ground level. They did leak those points to the Broncos late, but the middle of their pack, they've been controlling the ruck so well. And Hannah Southwell, the woman, the lock for the Knights, who's down at the moment, she's been a big part of that. Millie Boyle as well, Caitlin Johnston doing so much hard work. And you spoke about Leonard Dudzi before, and we haven't seen many offloads. I think that's just the defensive pressure and the line speed that the Newcastle Knights have brought within their defence to put them under so much pressure. So fingers crossed that it isn't bad news for Hannah Southwell, because she's such a crucial part of the way that these Newcastle Knights play their footy. Well, she's up on her feet, Alana, and she's sort of bouncing around on it now. So that looking like some good signs. Hopefully it was just maybe some contact and just a pinch in that knee there but she does appear to be moving a little more freely and looks like she's been cleared by medical so she'll play the ball which is great to see higgins a dummy half millie boyle looking to storm barge away over she's standing in the tackle half a meter away made to play it higgins a dummy half they cut out southwell up and through the hands they go and in the corner autumn rain stevens daly gets a try for the knights what a lovely finish there and i just you know what i love watching about the knights at the moment every time somebody does something well they're getting around them both tries that they've scored so far there's been huge excitement on their faces as we see here on the harvey norman replay two tackles after that stoppage in play there was a lovely little shift and i think they might just have a little look at whether uh Heitzel was in the way, whether she caught it on her outside or her inside shoulder here. But Shanice Parker, the brand new mum of one, making a return to football. It's great to see her with that try assist, Lockie. Tamika Rupkin, she, she made that with her speed. That's what, one thing you can't coach against is speed. It's a big loss for the Broncos, a big gain for the Knights. Uh, but they just they got the oh, ball back the with their defensive pressure and they've turned that into points. Kira Dib from out wide has struck it absolutely magnificently, but it Come landed on. short. Point lead for the home side, the Newcastle Knights. Two tries to one. They were aware of that short kick this time. They weren't going to get caught off guard, the Knights. Millie Boyle. Ten short of the halfway line here. Olivia Higgins. Anna Southwell moving really well. Oh, lost it though in the tackle. When she went to get up the player, there was a little bobble there, and the ball came free. And Casey Badger is blowing the whistle for a Bronco scrum feed. Yeah, that's just a clean loss there. Hannah was trying to get up quickly to try and get a fast play the ball for her team, but got a little bit tangled. And the Broncos, which they can do, like I said earlier, they can attack from anywhere on the field. Their long-range tries are pretty spectacular, so they're in a pretty uh, scary position here for the Knights. Yeah, Taryn Aiken. It's a pass to Jamie Chapman. She's quick. Chapman. Will do well stay in the field of play here. They're going to put her in a touch. That's good footy from both teams, but particularly the defence from the Knights. I tell you what, both Alana and Lockie touched on the defence of the Knights. Hannah, 
They have been so willing. They're turning up in numbers. They're scrambling. And they're just playing hard and working hard for each other. Chapman made a really good half break down that left flank. And they just came across in numbers to shut it down. Good stuff by the Knights. Certainly was. Play the ball here for the Knights. And the new players in the Broncos team, Jamie Chapman from the Dragons, Nita Maynard from Parramatta, Crystal Tamarua has played previously with the Warriors. And they got Jasmine Fogavini and Sophie Holliman uh, on debut tonight. And time now to speaking about the Broncos to chat with their coach, Kelvin Wright, who joins us. Uh, Kelvin, uh, thanks for your time. Mate, what do you made of the, the opening 20 minutes? Oh, it's sort of, it's been a bit scrappy, to be honest. Been a few errors out there. Um, you know, it's probably understandable. Both teams haven't played for a while, so hopefully we can just um, get into our groove and uh, complete some sets. Kelvin, it's the first time in NRLW land that you've had to coach against Tamika Upton and Millie Boyle. Does it make it harder or easier knowing uh, the way they play? Oh, it's, um, you know, it's probably easier the fact that uh, probably know them a bit better than some other players, but um, you know we just uh, concentrated uh, and coach against them the same as any other players, really. Kelvin, uh, really appreciate your time. Good luck uh, for the remainder of the game. Thanks for having a chat. Cheers, thanks, mate. Here goes Billy Boyle. One of those former Broncos in the Knights team playing it 11 metres away. Higgins to Southwell. Anna Southwell has lost it here in the tackle. You can challenge it if you, if you want to. Where do you want the scrum? Ali, where do you want the scrum? Clock is on. On the 20. Will scrum. there be a challenge? No, there won't be. And let that one go through to the keeper. It's a shame, too, because the Knights had actually got some good field position through a penalty. And then, yeah, she's appealing to Casey Badger. But Casey says, you're welcome to challenge it if you like. Lucky they didn't. Yes. Right. Looking at that replay. <laughs> I think she'll be happy watching that on replay, too. Great shots from the, the drone. And this is the, the first time we've had a, a proper night match in NRLW. We had a couple of five o'clock kickoffs over the years. And that'll be a penalty to Brisbane. And Amber Hall had a little word there to Romney Teitzel. They're coming. So Brisbane have taken attack here. 35 minute halves repeating. Fancy footwork there from Taryn Aiken. She's an ace assault goal. Oh, was about to go. Yes, yeah, she is going to dummy half. And sets off and finds six or seven metres. The Broncos centre is a Queensland representative. Hollyman. Tackled by Southwell and Boyle there as well. Higgins was in there. Now here's Crystal Tamarua. Former warrior. Still walking forward there. Good run for your first touch. Taryn Aiken puts it high. Taken at the back there by one of the safest fullbacks in NRL and NRLW in Tamika Upton. Ruby, talk about how good she is on her feet, but very safe under the high ball. Very, very safe. Organises beautifully in defence as well. And she's just, her comms are fantastic. So that's why she makes such a good fullback, along with obviously the physical prowess she brings to the game. Clydesdale. 11 short of the halfway line here. Good contest. Southwell from inside the 40. And didn't get towards the touch line. She didn't quite get the purchase she wanted on that one, but she was leading that chase down there. And I think we've just seen the first interchange. So it took uh, 20, 23 odd minutes before the first interchange was made. And I think it's Millie Boyle that's come from the field. But both Hannah Southwell, sorry, and Caitlin Johnston are still on the field. with the, the kicks as well too if you're still learning the NRLW game it's a 
Here goes Ellie Brigginshaw. Brigginshaw, oh, beautiful pass to Amber Hall. Just floated it off her right shoulder. Well read, though, by Clydesdale and Johnston. Amber Hall will play it. Nita Maynard, Taryn Aiken. And here's Crystal Tamarua. Last play here for Brisbane. Kick there from Taryn Aiken. Tamika Upton's got it. We'll get back in the field of play. Forced back, but she still stays alive there. And there's some pretty impressive Broncos defence. Now Southwell. Oh, boy, she's got a good eye for the game. Honestly, she can pick the smallest gap and has that step to just slice straight through. I'm agreeing with Joey. I think she is going to be a superstar at this game. The Knights now. He's conceding the one try. Brisbane have asked a few questions of them. That's a good, strong run from the player coming off the bench in Taylor Bredebon. Julia Robinson. Brisbane's try scorer. Ball almost popped out the back, but she did well in the end. Now we talk about the, the Broncos newcomers, uh, the Knights newcomers, Jesse Southwell, Tamika Upton, Millie Boyle, and Hannah Southwell, Olivia Higgins, Yasmin Clydesdale, Taylor Predabon. Uh, these players all tasted success with the Roosters in the NRLW competition we had earlier this year. Yeah, they sure did. The Knights have gone out and recruited really, really well in this offseason. And Kiana Takarangi and Shanice Parker as well in the team. Also good to see, she's obviously named at 18th tonight, but Caitlin Moran returning to NRLW. I think that's that's excellent. Yeah, we'll talk more about her in just a moment. This kick getting away from them, but no harm done. Tamika Upton. Speaking about Caitlin Moran, you're right. Ruan, I was so happy to see her link up with the, the Knights, of course. Kicked the field goal in the World Cup final for the Gillaroos in 2017. Yep, I remember that kick and I remember just hitting the deck or hitting the grass and just thinking, thank goodness, we've done it. I can breathe again. <laughs> <laughs> Southwell again. Oh, she's through. Up over the halfway line and a step. Now has she got the pace? Brigginshaw's got her. Oh, setting the NRLW alight is this young teenager. Now they've got heaps of numbers out here. Robbie Titesall. Yes, there she is in the corner. The skipper is in and the Knights extend their lead. Wowee. We've said Jesse, Jesse Southwell so much tonight. But the reason we have is she is just phenomenal with that ball in hand. She does, again, that footwork. We're going to see here on the Harvey Norman replay. She can step off both feet just as sharply, and she slices through a defensive line. She turns Chapman inside out, and then there's just really great coverage coming through here from the Broncos. But it's beautifully red. They shifted out to that right-hand side where the Bronx were just caught a little short, and Teitzel, well... She just took the shortest path to the try line. She just turned, uh, went, went straight over the top of Shizolka there and uh, scored a four-pointer for the Knights. They are looking sharp to start this season. What, how's it looking to you down there, Alana? <laughs> I am mind blown. Jesse Southwell, we have not seen a female athlete play this game the way that she does. She's got size, she's built of muscle, but her footwork and speed is just out of this world. Add to that her kicking game, which has torn them to shreds. It, it's just something else. She got a quick play the ball for her side and the Newcastle Knights quick hands to title and they reap the rewards. But what an unbelievable footy player Jesse Southwell is. So exciting. And there's the try scorer in Romy Teitzel. Kira Dib to convert. Can it come back? It does. It's a beauty.
16 points to four. And the team with four has won three more premierships than the Knights have won games, if that makes sense. Newcastle haven't won a game in their short history. Brisbane have won three comps, and are we tonight? Paul of Held came there from Casey Badger, witnessing Ruana changing of the guard, but you don't want to write Brisbane off. You can't write Brisbane off. You can't, especially when you've got Brigginshaw and Aiken, uh, you know, with the reins there. But I will say this, the Knights are looking sharp. They're playing good footy and they're utilising the talents that they've got out there. Jesse Southwell has been huge and Dib has been just backing her up just as well. And a Southwell. Oh, Amber Hall says, come here. So going off for an HIA there is Emily Bass. Here's Predabon. That's a good run. Inside Brisbane's 20. Manselman on the field. Goes to Dib. Little grubber kick. Julia Robinson does well. Beats the first defender. And then crunch in the tackle. A player to watch is that number 14 has just come on the field for the Knights in Emma Manselman. A teammate of Romy Teitzel in the Queensland competition, the BMD Premiership at the North Queensland Gold Stars. Well, Emma had some really good touches for them last year, uh, for last season, I should say, not last year. But uh, so she's definitely good on her feet, loves getting that ball in her hands. Tamarua playing the ball. Here's Talisha Harden. Almost getting through again. Good tackle from Kapani. Oh, Tamika Upton with a juggle. And she maintained possession. And plenty of attention there from Amy Turner. That was a good run by Takarangi. Plenty of pressure on her. Bobby Law, who was a real shining light for the Knights in the NRLW season, which we had earlier this year. Now, Stevens Daly, one of the Knights try scorers, driven back in the tackle. Caitlin Phillips on the field for Brisbane. Southwell, just got to watch it whenever she gets the ball. Titesel now. Oh, and Shanaisa Solka got the stray boot there accidentally, and there's concern for in back play. It's play on through Hannah Southwell to Kira Dib. Gets a pass away, and Bobby Law puts it down. But there is concern for Shanaisa Solka here. Yeah, one of the Knights players was just indicating for the trainer to go and, uh, and check her out there. So, the lovely bit of sportsmanship shown. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Need of the nose. Unfortunately, an untidy finish for the Knights there. We've seen them be so crisp to start this game. And well, it looks like uh, Shazalka will be staying on the field. That's good signs, especially with Emily Bass coming off for the Broncos. Tamarua. Playing at the Maynard. Now Brigginshaw to Aiken. Short ball, Phillips back to Aiken. Loops a pass over the top. And... Here's a, a good charge there from Jasmine Fogavini. Emily Bass off the field with the head assessment. So Fogavini on the wing on that far side of the field. Chelsea Lenarduzzi now. Just over two minutes left in the half. 35 minute halves, Maynard. There's a big gap there for her and she almost exploited it. Last play here. Doctors asked the game to stop for Talisha, number 13, did you say? Sorry, number four. Yeah, it's yeah, nice to solve her, it is. I'm not surprised. I think we're all um, surprised with that. She did uh, stay down for a fair while there. So that means both a Ooh. winger and a centre for the Broncos are off having their head injury assessments. And I'm sure that Alana will be able to keep uh, an eye on that and let us know how that tracks for them. Shanae so Sasolka. Been an Australian representative at Touch Footy, then Rugby Sevens. It was on Touch Footy. Well done to all those that took part in the Touch Football State of Origin Carnival in Coffs Harbour over the weekend. 
Haley Maddock, who's not in the Broncos team tonight. Yeah, she played in the Queensland side. Jada Ferguson, by the way, the player to come on the field now for the Broncos. And she's going to chase this kick from Ali Brigginshaw that goes into touch. You know what? That was actually quite a well-placed kick, only because if she'd kicked it 10 centimetres more to the left, it would have gone out in goal. It would have been a seven-tackle set, 20 metres out for the Knights. Ali is seeing the ball really, really well tonight. Here's the play of the ball. 90 seconds left in the half. Nilly Boyle. Chelsea Lenarduzzi going for another one-on-one -on -one steal. So Ronnie Griffiths, who's taken over as coach of the Newcastle Knights, will be happy with what he's seen so far. He won't be happy with that. He's gifted Brisbane a opportunity late in the half. They've got a minute here, pretty much a whole set. Brigginshaw, Jamie Chapman, good tackle down low, Emma Manselman. Southwell coming from the field. That's Hannah Southwell. Here goes Taryn Aiken. Aiken won't be stopped from there. We'll see. Oh, I think she just got Coming it down. Tamika Upton's done a great job. But Taryn Aiken has planted the ball down for a Broncos try. Well, that came from a, an offload that didn't need to happen. 20 metres out, coming out of yardage. You're only a minute from half time. You just want to get through your set, settle down, and just make it to a nice kick. Chapman had actually bent the line early, as we see here on the Harvey Norman replay. Aiken just slices through that defence there beautifully, and she had, still had plenty of work to do because Upton, who is so strong in the upper body, she rolls her over and just tries to hold her up, but Aiken gets that ball down. This is a really good hit back here for the Broncos. Just got it down before the ball was dislodged. Just still counts. Yes. <laughs> Try has been confirmed, as you can see on the screen. What it does do, it sets up a very big second half. Ali Brigginshaw to make it just a one converted try game. And Brigginshaw converts. So at half time, we have got a thriller on our hands. The Newcastle Knights 16, leading the Brisbane Broncos 10. What a first half we had, and what a second half we are now looking forward to. The Knights leading the Broncos by six. It was 16 points to four. Stay on side. But just one try in it. Can the Knights hold on for a famous victory? Or will the Broncos come back? And again, they get a result from a kickoff. Did you touch, you touch it first? All right, so it's touch first, and we play the ball. Do you want it? The there the you go, just getting a little clarification from Casey Badger. But as you said, so it's his second time they've gone to that edge. It was touched by Teitzel in the air, so they've deemed a knock-on in the field of play. It'll be a play the ball here to the Bronx. Midfield, they'll be happy with the way they've started so far, Kelvin Wright. Well, they start this set 30 metres away and now 21 metres away after a good run there from Amber Hall. Nita Maynard. Is Ali Brigginshaw. The player's been very strong off the bench. Crystal Tamarua. Playing the ball 20 metres away, just off centre. Taryn Aiken. Caitlin Phillips now. In the legs, driving to the 10 metre line. Maynard. Here's Tamarua. An offload here to Taryn Aiken. <laughs> Got to put a fend on. But... She thought she had a number 13 on her back. Chelsea Lenarduzzi. There's an offload from her. Jamie Chapman drifting across fields. Looking to straighten here. They're seven metres away. Last tackle here for the Broncos on the front foot. Amber Hall flicks it out the back. And Amy Turner find a pass. She can't. And it'll be a turnover. So they hang on there, the Newcastle Knights. Some good defence. Now, Emma Lawrence, you've got some news for us. Yeah, both of those Broncos have passed their HIAs, Salty, Sinead Zolka and Emily Bass. 
And for the Knights, it's not good news. Hannah Southwell will not be back because of that knee injury. Still just assessing it at the moment to determine the extent of the damage. Thank you, Emma. You've got to get the man off. And here's some good news for the Knights. They get a penalty. It's a very relieving penalty for the Knights. The Broncos were really lining up, pinning them down in their own third. Defensively, they really turned up in this second half. They're really turning the pressure here, the Bronx, but that lets a little bit of it off. We'll see what the Knights can do, see if they can uh, fashion something long range. The Knights through Bobby Law into Brisbane Territory. Clydesdale now, Yasmin Clydesdale. Playing the ball, Manzelman. Here's Taylor Predabon. Alicia Harden, one of the defenders there for Brisbane. Manzelman. Now Boyle looking to wind up. And has tackled 15 metres away. Manzelman, they go to Kira Div. Div on the march. Clydesdale. Ali Brigginshaw up top. Is it Amy Turner down below it was. Manzelman, he's the last. Southwell through the hands to Mika Upton. Puts in a kick. It's not a bad one, but it will beat everyone. Dead in goal. Brisbane now with a seven tackle set from the 20. Lovely yeah, shift from the night. Starting on the far left of that goal post, shifting out the back. Southwell comes up with a great pass out to Upton, who spots the gap behind. Obviously, because Chapman was stuck behind the play, the ball there for the Broncos defensively. And if it had just you know, kept turned to the left a little bit. We might have seen a different result for the Nets. Now, real strength, real skills and real stakes return in round three when the NRLW heads to Morton Daly Stadium. Watches the Brisbane Broncos take on the Gold Coast Titans in an epic contest that you won't want to miss. Secure your seat today at nrl.com slash tickets. <laughs> Chelsea Lenarduzzi. Centre of McDonald Jones Stadium. Nita Maynard goes short. Talisha Harden. Another good offload from Harden. She had a few of them tonight. Ishanae Sasolka. Good on her feet. And did well there to beat the initial defender. Now they're 22 away here. Two tackles left for the set. Jamie Chapman. Can't get away from two of the Knights players there in Carpani and Boyle. Brigginshaw. A heap of time, puts up a kick. Oh, Julia Robinson's done really well. Can she get an offload away? No, yeah, no she no, can't. No, There's great skill, but a good tackle in the end from Kira Dib. It's like she had Grippo on those hands. The ball went up, she just hung on to it. Did really, really well in the air. Couldn't quite get the offload there, but there's some really positive signs to start this second half for the Broncos. Here's the take down the bottom. Right hand corner of your screen. Great stuff. The Knights, though, on their 20, coming into their own ends. Dib gets a pass away. Tightsell. Wrapped up 19 short of the halfway line. Jesse Southwell goes to Millie Boyle. They've done well in the last couple of tackles of this set. The Knights to get themselves out of trouble. They were still inside, well inside their own 20 on tackle three. Now in the last, the kick will come from around the 40. Southwell with the kick. Emily Bass takes it here for the Broncos. Fredabon and Dib with the tackle. Six minutes gone in the second half. Still no points. Oh, there's some solid defence, and it's Jesse Southwell and Romy Teitzel. A few little danger signs starting to open up for the middle pack of the Knights, though, because the Broncos are getting in there, in behind the ruck. A defender is not tying in with the markers because there's only been one marker for a couple of tackles in this half, and that can really sort of get you on the back foot, especially with Maynard, Maynard in at nine. Brigginshaw now. Chapman. Jamie Chapman. Couldn't find her outside backs there. Thought about an offload as well, but they wrapped up the ball. Some good defence there from Bobby Law. Now Brigginshaw. 
And they didn't play at it there, so play on here for the Knights. A couple of the Broncos stopped thinking it was going to be uh, a knock on, but Carpani has it for the Newcastle Knights. Good energy in that charge down there by Carpani. I think she was also, also had Millie Boyle involved too. And this actually gets the Knights on tackle too, straight into good ball. It was a genuine charge down. Millie Boyle changing the momentum in this half. The Knights now, instead of defending back near their line, they're on the front foot. Taylor Predabon. That's a good run from Predabon inside the Broncos. 20 go the Knights. Oh, or penalty. Back in. Back in. Well, it might have been just a mistake there, but uh, Casey Badger said had a little bit of help coming out, so it's a penalty. Yeah, we'll watch this one again on replay if we get the opportunity. I thought live it looked like it might have just been placed on her foot. Oh, well, she got out of jail free with that one. <laughs> They'll take that one, the Knights. Here's Millie Boyle. Knights looking to extend their lead. Big defensive set here for Brisbane. Capani with some great footwork near the line to almost get there, but she's going to be made the player to meet her away from the line. Manselman short to Predabon. Gets over, gets it down. It's a try to the Knights. Taylor Predabon. Well, Taylor, the one that pulled the penalty, the penalty previously, just strolls straight over the line. I say strolls, but she's got such a strong leg drive. She really pushes it over the top, and I thought when Munzelman went to her that it might not have been the right option. I thought out the back they had Southwell and Upton set up here on the Harvey Norman replay. We just see how much she wanted it there. It was set up by a really good run by Carpani as well, Alana. Yeah, their runs in the lead up to get that territory were so good from the Newcastle Knights. They've been so strong through the middle, just working over those Brisbane Bronco defenders Staying on their front, getting up to make the play the balls and just making those inroads in and behind the ruck. But Predaborn to get there and then Carpani with that footwork. Broncos defence were moving too slow and made it too easy for the Newcastle Knights to stroll right over. As the tries confirm, that's where she planted the ball down. First try in her NRLW career for Taylor Predaborn. Also from that Premiership winning Roosters side last year. Here it is. Converts. Point lead to the Knights. Second time in the night they've led by that margin. 16 4 in the first half, and now 22 points to 10. Well, the Knights have made a change to their uh, kickoff setup there. It was uh, Upton that went out to that uh, right edge because the Broncos have taken advantage of their spacing a couple of times tonight so far. Credit on the try scorer playing it there. Emil Manzelman. There's Jesse Southwell finding Millie Boyle. And short of the halfway line here, the Knights. Manselman, Southwell, Kira did beautiful ball. Oh, it's been put down. And Julia Robinson has it now for Brisbane. So inviting Brisbane into their end of the fields. Still plenty of time left in this one. There's some solid contact on Hollyman. I think she's just returned to the fray as well. Salty. She has. Taryn Aiken with a dummy. A full and four by Jesse Southwell. Showing tonight she can not only attack but defend as well. Chelsea Linaduzzi. Quick play the ball too from Chelsea. Here goes Maynard. A few defenders had their backs turned. Brigham Shaw. Amber Hall. There were numbers on her outside but couldn't find them. Hollyman 
From a standing start, now looking to wind up, but good defense. Taylor Predabon with the tackle. Here's the last. Taryn Aiken puts in a kick, it's off legs. First was an accidental offside from Newcastle players, then a knock on on the ground. It'll be a scrum feed to Brisbane. Brisbane scrum off feed, accidental offside. Yeah, the accident explanation there from Casey Badger. Okay, it was the right call. It was the right call. So she's been very clear with the, her comms okay. tonight, I think, which First really helps this game flow and be exciting the way it has been. This now, this is the opportunity. Bring, the Broncos are going to start turning the screws here on the Knights. We've, I've been really impressed with the way the Knights have scrambled, the way they're turning up for each other. But now this next set of six, this is going to be a really big test because it's sustained pressure from the Broncos. I hope we've got a charger in the drone, been delivering his great shots all throughout the afternoon. They're doing a good job. Here's Sinead Sasolka. Twelve away from the line. Bass goes to dummy half. Aiken goes to Fogavini. And Jasmine Fogavini playing the ball. Taryn Aiken with some room to move. Five away from the line. Rummy Tytzel with a tackle that had to be made. Now Maynard held up the ball beautifully. Goes to Brigginshaw. Then a doozy now. There are huge numbers on the right here for the Bronx. And Maynard has seen it on the bounce. Amy Turner. That's a knock on from Turner. Well, again, really Gilly, good scramble the there from the Knights, but that's three tackles in a row where they haven't actually counted their numbers properly and they've had extra numbers on the short side, which opens up that, that long edge there for the Broncos to attack Alana. Just been so impressed with the Knights. They ran out at the start of the game with smiles on their faces. We've been saying on repeat how incredible they've been in their defence. They've been turning up in numbers, but just as they took the field at half time, I had a quick chat to Caitlin Moran, Newcastle Knights uh, 18th woman and she said being a part of this team is something special and you can see in the way that they're playing they love turning up for one another they're getting behind one another and in those tough moments the broncos just had a scrum attacking the line and they did just that they put them under pressure and threw them off their game and i think that's just a true testament in the way that they've come together as a team this season there's millie boyle taylor Prenebon. Good charge from her. They're getting out of trouble. A bit easier now, the Knights. Manzelman brought down by Julia Robinson. There's a bit going on there. Casey Badger says, get on with it. Keep playing some footy. Last play here for the Knights. Manzelman. Kira Nib. That's a good kick. It's a floater. And that's a very good take there from Robinson as well. And an equally good chase here by the Knights. This is an opportunity now for the Knights to start turning the screws on the Bronx. Amy Turner, nowhere to go for the veteran. Knights defence working well. Leonard Doozy. Get up and play it just outside the 20. Hollyman. Tough yards for Brisbane now coming out of their own end. Ali Brigginshaw, inside pass, Maynard, beautiful offload. They're keeping it alive here. The Broncos. This will be the last tackle. Aaron Aiken puts in a little kick over the top. Wants Emily Bass or Sinead Sasolka, but it's taken there by the night swinger, Autumn Rain, Stephen Staley. I reckon Taryn might want that one back. The way she'd run that ball on the last, she'd actually pulled the winger up into the line and there was space in behind. If she'd been able to get a bit more length on that kick, they had a really good defensive line set up for a chase. Kira Dib goes on her own. And The Knights through Simon. 21 away from the line. Southwell. 
Now through the hands it goes to Mika up and finds Autumn Rain. Stevens Daly good on her feet. Ten away from the line. Last play here for the Knights. Manzelman. They go down a short side. Southwell, it's off legs. And still got it. Still going to the line here is Southwell. Full set of six here for the Knights. Manzelman. On the put it down. Lenarduzzi has it. There was some good defensive pressure. Really good defensive pressure, and they needed to as well. Actually, there's a Bronco down in back play. She's going to be getting some attention there. It's Nita Maynard. She's been really good for the Broncos. With there's been quick play of the balls. There's a penalty here, no, no, using the knees there. in contact. There's a little bit of feeling starting to creep into this game, Saltsy. We've seen, uh, you know, a little Emily. bit of push and shove a few times yeah, so far, and. But meanwhile, we'll have a quick look at Maynard. Hopefully she's all right, because like I said, she's been finding some really great space in and behind the ruck for the Broncos. Newcastle, Newcastle, Newcastle. Fell awkwardly there, did Nita Maynard. Brisbane now off the back of that penalty, 10 short of the halfway line. Jasmine Fogavini about to play the ball. Back on her feet, though, is Nita Maynard, which is a, a good sign. And there's a good charge from South here. And Jamie Chapman going for a run, looking to get involved. The former Dragon and playing fullback for the Broncos. Hollyman. Two tackles left in this set. 30 metres away, Brisbane. Maynard. Brigginshaw. Here's Aiken on the other side of the field. Amber Hall back to Ali Brigginshaw. Goes through, inside pass. Maynard will be tackled. The Knights scrambling well. But Brisbane, can they get a repeat set? Brigginshaw with a kick and a take from Robinson, who's in for a second try. Here come the Broncos. Really great play here from the Broncos. There was a nice break through the middle. They backed up beautifully. And Maynard, who'd only just been down previously with an injury, was supporting Brigginshaw beautifully. We see here on the Harvey Norman replay, Amber Hall sets it up with a nice drop line there. Brigginshaw's with her. Maynard sets it up as well. And then here, this is the vision. This is the vision of Brigginshaw. She sees that Robinson is out in the open. It's been a couple of times so far in this half where she's actually been free. They haven't been able to get the, the ball there with a pass. So she, she puts it to boot and it's beautifully placed. Alana? How good is the battle of the sevens at the moment? We just saw Jesse Southwell get a repeat set for the Knights. They weren't able to repeat, uh, get the rewards off the back of that. But Ali Brigginshaw, her work in the lead up, we didn't see it on the second replay, but she has the ability to just direct her women around the field. And what she did was she took it out there. She was there for the ball back on the inside. And then that kick over to the edge was sublime. Absolute brilliance from Ali Brigginshaw. We've seen a couple of classy touches. And now this brings the margin that little bit closer for the Broncos. This to make it a converted try lead for the Knights. It's across the face, no goal. Come on. Eight-point ball game, 15 minutes left. 22 to 14, the Knights leading the Broncos. Now, you see a familiar face running around in back play. There's Scott Prince in the blue shirt, one of the trainers for the Brisbane Broncos. And Meg Ward there yeah. with the headset on, who recently retired, unfortunately. Yeah, there she is, Meg Ward. World Cup winner with the Gillaroos. Well done, Meg, on a great career. And Amber Hall. She's had a, a clip around the, the face there, Amber Hall, but was smiling as she 
then carry two Knights defenders an extra 15 metres. I'll tell you what, Yaz pulled her arm out of it and had a little wry smile herself. She, she might have seen a career flash before her eyes. At Brisbane, though, Ruana rolling here. And it's Sarah Sautia playing the ball 25 metres away. Last tackle, Brigham Shaw. She'll be trapped with the ball here. Ellie won't be able to get the ball away, but it'll be a turnover. The Knights, 10 metres away from their own line, made to play it. Yeah, Ali looked at that short side. I thought she might have tried to put a little grubber kick in behind the line. Was, uh, she had a pretty good vision there, but the, the defence from the Knights has been up to the task tonight. But like you said, Salty, the last 10 minutes or so, the Broncos have really been rolling through the middle. They're finding lots of space in behind the ruck, and they're really taking advantage of that second phase play, which we're used to seeing from them. The Knights now on their own 20 through Kiana Takarangi. The ball's come free, yeah. it's a penalty. Your knees are in and you're pushing down and up. Big fun? Yeah, I believe you were crowding her. All right, there There's you go. Explanation from Casey Badger. See, looking at it live, I thought it had just sort of flicked out and there was uh, not that much control on the ball, but this is a really good, good clearing kick there by Southwell. It almost didn't out. make it. Yeah, Bass got the Bass. hands to it. Nearly got there. It had gone out, though, before she got a touch, so that's why it's the tap here and not a play the ball. And Romy Teitzel. Trying to settle things here for the Knights. Twelve and a half minutes remaining. And an exciting and enthralling NRLW clash. The Knights through Millie Boyle down to Iwilana. Well, you spoke about the Knights looking a little bit vulnerable through their middle. Caitlin Johnston is itching on the sideline. She's got the card in her hand, ready to get back on. For me, it's been a big difference. Uh, Hannah Southwell and Caitlin Johnston both being off the field. So she's just gone on. Millie Boyle's having a bit of a breather, but she'll add some definite punch for the Knights women through the middle. Two tackles left in this set. Stay on the mark. Southwell now. Short to Tamika Upton. And lost the ball. No. Nah. I've got you just losing it. Lost the ball there, Tamika uh, Upton. Oh, he needs to come from Captain. Well, people at home might be wondering they're why off. they're taking Millie Boyle off with only sort of 12 minutes or so left. Hang on, there's a challenge. Hey, We've got a captain's challenge from the Knights um, on the decision of a lost ball. See here. Upton gets up to play. Taryn Aiken has a hand on the ball, and yeah. with a stripping motion, strips the ball from to make Upton. Good challenge, Nuts. The captain's challenge is successful. You on your goal line? Oh, there, Bill. Yeah. So, challenge successful. The way, okay? And they'll take a tap here, the Knights. Let me move. Wait, wait. So, I was mentioning, people at home might wonder why he's taking Millie off with 10 or so minutes or 12 minutes to go in the game. It's because they've only used five interchanges, so they still have another five. They can roll through their middles in their last 12 minutes and they so get Lisa, a penalty here, Johnston, the fresh body on the field. We've had a couple against you already. Don't drag it back down. So another back-to-back -back penalties here for Newcastle and they'll tap and go again through Jesse Southwell. Felicia Harden, the player, penalised. And he's Simon now, been strong off the bench. Olivia Higgins, the dummy half. Might go on her own there after oh! Caitlin Johnston overran her on her outside. Quick play the ball. Okay. Tamika Upton will be hard to stop. Almost getting away from the defenders. Stopped a metre short of the line. Higgins to Caitlin Johnston will get there for the Knights. Coming into four. Caitlin Johnston, too strong, too powerful. Newcastle with another four pointer. How much do you reckon she loved that one? She came up cheering. The Knights, obviously, they they fancy their chances close to the line, just trying to burrow over. We saw three in a row of them trying to do it. And this was just good, hard running by Caitlin Johnson. We saw what just how good she can be in Origin this year. She was fantastic. And just watching the way she's playing to start this season off, you can really see why the Knights missed her at the start of last season with that elbow injury. She was gone for basically the whole year. So. You know, congratulations, Caitlin. That was a really good try. Good, strong showing. And, you know, fresh on the field, that's what you want to see. Caitlin Johnston with the try. Ten minutes remaining. 
Two converted try leads. Hang on, Salty. So both two front rowers have barged over for tries so far for the Knights. No wonder you're looking excited. Always. Love a front rower try. Kira Dib now to make it a three score lead for the Knights. A 14 point lead and it's there. Come on. That's must viewing on a Monday night, 100% footy. 9.40 tomorrow night. Another kick off flirting with the touchline, but Ruan pointed out to Mika up in there just to make sure another one doesn't go into touch. Just shoring up the defences. Oh, <laughs> Caitlin Johnston! Oh, Nita Maynard. They have nightmares tonight. When every time she shuts her eyes, she'll see Caitlin Johnston running towards her. She's such a powerful ball runner, is Caitlin, and then followed up really well by Carpani, and she's putting her hand up for more work. She learned that off you? <laughs> no. <laughs> it sounds well. Going to Simon. Oh, you'd be going three or four. Touches in a set through. I wish. Southwell, that is a great kick. Underneath it is Jamie Chapman. And has knocked the ball on here, so it'll be a penalty. Oh, hang on, there's no, we're going the other way. So we penalty all thought, yeah, we all thought it was going to be a penalty to the Knights because Ali Brigginshaw was in front of where the ball was touched, but Higgins for the Knights was actually in front of the kicker there and got within the 10, got involved. They find touch. The Broncos. They need to get one back here because there's only eight minutes left. They need to score three times, Brisbane. Amber Hall playing the ball. Here's Talisha Harden. This has been an excellent performance from the Knights. They've weathered the Broncos storm early in the second half. Brisbane get one back here, and it still is game one, because you know with Brisbane, Roof, they get one, two or three can come pretty quickly. Absolutely, they do love playing front foot footy, and there's some lovely interchange of passing down this short left edge there. Aiken and Shazolka. So Ferguson to Linaduzzi, Brigginshaw, long pass on the bounce. Robinson has two tries tonight for Brisbane. And there's a good run from a standing start. Tackled 15 away from the line is the last. I need a result, the Broncos. Newcastle's defence holding firm as it has done most of the night. Brigginshaw down the short side, puts in a grubber kick. The Knights have it though. Well, take a bow, Newcastle. Some terrific defence. Well, it's been the hallmark of their game so far tonight. I think both myself, you, Alana and Lockie have all commented on it. It's been a huge turnaround here. Millie Boyle back on the field now as well, too, for the Newcastle Knights. You saw her running back on. Kira Simon taking a uh, well-earned rest. Shanice Parker playing the ball. Olivia Higgins. Oh, great ball. Millie Boyle straight through. Be tackled 10 metres away from the line. Oh, she would have loved that run against her former team. Southwell through the hands. Oh, they've got numbers here. Who wants to score for Newcastle? Brisbane come across, though, in cover. Ali Brigginshaw it is. Here's the last now. Takarangi will play it. Kira Dib, heaps of time, puts up a kick. Romy Teitzel bats it back. And here it is for Autumn Rain Stevens. I oh, oh, lost it just short of the line.
coming across. Who was it? Was it Taryn Aiken? Taryn Aiken came up with a clutch tackle here. I thought Autumn Rain Stevens was just in for all money. Look at Aiken. She just worked so hard to get there, got in the way, forced the error. Really good work by the number six. She's been a real shining light for the Bronx tonight, along with Brittenshaw. Well done. We praise all our cameramen. On Nine's Wide World of Sports coverage of NRL and NRLW, one of the best consistently is corner post cam. <laughs> Cop, copped a fair bit of treatment there as well. Now all our team doing a great job, as always, providing you the pictures. And here's Talisha Harden. A real shining light for Brisbane tonight. Brigginshaw, nice pass. Julia Robinson's got it. She throws a pass. Em can't find Amber Hall, and Newcastle have got it. With four and a half minutes left. Four and a half minutes to go. Look, you can't write the Broncos off, but the way the Knights have been turning up tonight, I just feel like they're going to come away with this one, and it's going to be the club's first ever win. What a scalp to get. Three-time premiers. The Brisbane Broncos. Shanice Parker playing the ball. Here's Yasmin Clydesdale. Under four minutes remaining. Southwell. And something too for Knights fans to really cheer about after well, a heartbreaking loss to Canberra this afternoon, the men's team, and it's been a, a controversial year for them. So many incidents, but here's something for them to cheer about. And Bobby Law will seal the win for the Knights. What a good player Bobby Law is. A shining light earlier in the year in the first season of NRLW. Gets a try tonight. Love seeing Bobby out in space like that. This is not the first time they've gone to this left edge. They've tried raids down this way four or five times, as we see here on the Harvey Norman replay. Dib's gone for this pass a few times, but this one here, it's picked up beautifully by Bobby Lawrence. Just pins the ears back. Still has plenty of attention from the Broncos' defence, but she just seals this one, ices it off, doesn't she, Alana? Yeah, great pass selection by Kira Dib there. I just love the way that the Knights have taken on this game. Their game plan's been brilliant. They've copped a lot of pressure through the middle. We saw a little bit of fatigue come on. Uh, they then replaced their forwards and had some punch. But even in those last couple of sets, making their way down the field so easily, getting their outside backs in to take those first couple of tackles just to get them on the front foot. Then we see a couple of the forwards and then we see the Bobby Law in a little bit of space and their halves come into play, being able to identify that. They've played such a great all-round game of football tonight, so I'm excited to see what they come up with next because they've pretty much ticked all the boxes. Yeah, they've been magnificent, Alana. So much to like about their performance tonight, the energy that they've brought, and I cannot believe that we're up to the 68th minute already. There's only 90 seconds left. And a really good game of footy. From out wide, Kira Dib. The radar just offline. Well, it landed short anyway. Now, Friday night footy on nine sees the storm take on the Roosters down in Melbourne with matchups like Munster v Tedesco, Hughes v Luke Keary, and the coaches, Ballyake against Robbo. This is one you can't afford to miss. All the action kicks off on Friday night from 7.30, live and free on 9 and 9 now. Stay on side here. Stay on side, Chelsea, Salisa. So Brisbane to kick off with two minutes and change remaining. Well done to Ronnie Griffiths, the coach of the Newcastle Knights NRLW team. This has been a very good performance. It's been a great performance, but I think he's also managed their interchange really well. Like he, with 10 minutes to go, he still had five interchanges up his sleeve, so he's been able to roll through his middle nicely. 
towards the back end of this half, which has meant that just maintained that freshness and that punch. So an example of that too is the number nine position, Ruan, with Olivia Higgins and Emma Manselman. Oh, to make her up, and there's an offload. It's the second time she's done that. She did one for Millie Boyle earlier and just rolls it backwards off the hand. She's so skillful. And putting it on a platter there for Romy Tightsell. Here's Yasmin Clydesdale now. And the that's the last. It's a changeover. So Brisbane might have just the one play because there's five seconds remaining. Got to wait. Oh, Got to wait for Casey to be ready. Oh, Tom on. A minute and five seconds. Trying to wrap us up early, so no, a minute and five seconds <laughs> remaining. <laughs> One minute to go. Oh, so the call of hell had come. And release her. Already called the tackle. No, no, mark's there. Mark's there. And Olivia Higgins thought she got away with a one-on-one -on -one steal there, but Casey Badger explained that already called held. Well, this is an excellent win here for the Knights. Really, really good win. They've played a great brand of football here tonight. They've played for each other and they've played with such energy and just knowledge of where they need to be, when they need to be there. And I think it's such a great step up for them. And I think the club are really going to enjoy, and the fans are going to enjoy this new look Knights outfit. Certainly will. Here's Ferguson getting a pass away. Chapman's got it and is going to be tackled. Chance for now one more play. Amber Hall will be not wrapped up because he got an offload away to Ali Brigginshaw. And now the ball comes free. Newcastle pick it up through Southwell. Clydesdale gets a beautiful pass away, not went and forward. But it won't matter anyway because stand up and celebrate Newcastle. A first ever NRLW victory for the Knights. And they've got a pretty handy scalp in the Brisbane Broncos. Full time. The Knights 32 have defeated the Broncos 14.